This is insane. Changing Windows Mixed Reality to optimize for best performance. This will save memory by disabling the WMR game window display. We now need to do a couple of more setting changes. First let's ensure that the super sampling in SteamVR is no higher than 100% or the app will crash. The change is made by accessing the custom video settings and choosing Automobilista 2. Next access the WMR settings in the control panel at the bottom and ensure that the optimize rendering is disabled or the app will crash. Then enable the reprojection option to auto as this will boost the frames per seconds and provide a smoother gameplay. Stand by, launching Automobilista 2. Virtual reality has progressed so fast in the last couple of years, it's really been very exciting. Things have been really tough these last few weeks, but I can always count on Automobilista 2 to give me a great VR experience. Junior, get ready to increase power. Lazy as it will crash the system completely. There is no need to crank up the settings to max or high as most of them won't make a big difference in graphics anyway. The car, track pit crew and shadow detail can be left on medium. I have also made sure that V-Sync is disabled both in-game and at the NVIDIA driver setup as it will cause lots of jitter if enabled for VR. The grass, the particles, the MSAA and the anisotropic sampling are also all on medium. The super sampling for VR is already maxed out. As you can tell, I also disabled most of the options for the visuals to save on memory other than post-processing. Of course, all the settings will depend on the type of CPU and GPU that you may have, and they may change over time depending on the type of driver updates. Junior, change the car. Selecting new car type. Did you know there are dozens to choose from in a variety of different classes? They are all listed on their website and I will put a link below the like button in the description. That's very true Junior, there are so many different options in this game and also let's not forget that it runs a hundred times smoother compared to Aceta Corta. Competizione. Let's try a different location. Stand by, deploying a new racetrack. New racetrack located, launching in 3, 2, 1. There are some things to look out for. For example, always having to recenter the view from Steam VR when loading the app for the first time. This is just incredible. When using an Xbox S controller, always making sure you're in window mode and not full screen mode, otherwise you can't access your computer and sometimes the app won't work. By the way, Lazius, a new update has just been released a few days ago, named version 1.2.0.2. It features a new DLC with new tracks in the USA including the famous Daytona. It also has new GTE class vehicles and cross compatibility for those who did not purchase the DLC to have access to the tracks when choosing multiplayer mode. This is great news as it will help to boost the expansion of the community online. For the full list of other changes check the link below the like button in the description after you subscribe and enable the bell notification. There are currently 5 types of race modes including Single Race, Time Trial, Championship, Test Day, and Multiplayer. Oh no, everything's gone blue and black. Don't worry, Lazius. The system is currently offline. Stand by. I will now attempt to reboot the CPU. Keep your headset on. I am almost done. Launching program. System back online. Sorry, I forgot to make changes to the graphic settings before launching night and thunder mode. We need to turn off grass details and particle level as well as put particle density to low and put pre-rendered frame to 1 or 2. Inside of visuals, we need to turn off post-processing and raindrops. You can also lower the super sampling to 1.3 or 1.5. We will keep it to 2. The most important is to lower the opponent cars between 8 to 12. Alright Junior, are you ready? I want to take this opportunity to thank you for watching today's VR Vlog. And I encourage you to leave any comments below, so that together 
we can expand the VR community. I guess there's no rules in this game, it's all or nothing. Pausius, I have calculated that if you either still have crashes or you want to turn on particles, you can do so by going back into the Steam VR reprojection settings and enabling motion vector instead of automatic. This should smoothen the gameplay. Junior, you're a star. I don't know how you managed to figure that one out, but you're right. The gameplay is much smoother, and the app, more importantly, is not crashing anymore. And the cars are so responsive, you can really tell the difference when you're racing in the rain or you're driving on a dry track. Time to give a shout out to all those who managed to catch the previous episode of the VR vlog and who left in comments. SZ, Alan Harrington and Shine585, nice to interact with you and I look forward to catch up again very soon. In the previous video we reviewed a really cool app called Paradiddle featuring a music video. Paradiddle is meant for those who want to discover and learn more about how to play the drums and percussions within virtual reality. And by the way, thanks to all those who like, reshare and comment on all our tweets. Do follow us to keep up with all our news and the latest year trends. Until next time, stay awesome and see you in another video.